10 tons of exotic wood and gilding, 18 meters long and 4 meters wide. The imperial canoe of Napoleon I is more than 200 years old. Moored to the National Naval Museum in Paris since 1943, it's now headed to the western port of Brest. We've taken many precautions for the complex transfer, but even the truck's vibrations can be an issue. Napoleon I ordered the canoe in 1810 for a visit to the port of Antwerp's arsenal. Napoleon III became the second leader to command the canoe in Brest in 1858. He oversaw more decorations, additional gilding, a painting of Minerva, Roman goddess of wisdom, and the imperial crown. The barge, moored in Brest, only made two more trips until 1943, when it was evacuated by train to Paris under the threat of bombardment. The canoe was too big to fit through the National Naval Museum's doors, so it was left outside under a makeshift shelter for two years. It wasn't until the end of World War II in 1945 that one of the museum's walls was partially demolished to allow it to enter. Same strategy for the canoe's transfer back to Brest. This 35-square-meter hole in the wall will allow the barge's return to its port of call.